The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another and very special edition of the Power Trading Hour. And as always, it doesn't matter where you're at, as long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. As we went through yesterday, we were up on very, very light volume. Um, and now, of course, we're down kind of the same but uh the question is what does the volume look like well it's about what it was on the way up but uh we shall see we're doing about seven billion shares so we don't have a clear um signal quite yet but i think that the the action of the markets is extremely bearish uh i'll I'll expect, I think, to see a lot more volume coming in as we go into Easter and into the first couple of weeks in May. We never got a resolution and a good test of that 4110 low or 4115, whatever it is, on the S&P cash. I suspect we have to go back and test that before we have a chance of a meaningful long-term move higher. Uh, and uh, options right now, they... They point to thinking that we could beat a 4,300 by next uh, week from uh, this Thursday. So, so what's five trading days, seven trading days? Seven trading days from now, we could be down 250 points on the S&P cash or more. But uh, we'll see. Uh, options roll over. Oh, excuse me. Uh, options delta neutral day is tomorrow. So maybe we'll find a lot more. But uh, we have uh, as many people as ever that are bullish uh, when it comes to actually putting their money. I don't know about these surveys of people that are bullish or bearish. But uh, when it came to actually throwing money down on the table on being bearish, uh, they're just the last three or four days have just been very, very light, except for a handful of stocks. And we'll talk about those today. I uh, got a lot of stuff going on. I got a lot of stocks to look at because I'm looking at stocks uh, that could turn the corner in a big way. They have not yet, or at least uh, through this day. But um, first test is going to be the lows of Friday. I suspect we blow that out. I uh, don't know if it's in the next couple of days, but it does look extremely bearish. As I said yesterday, I thought yesterday was a gift. Uh, for those who didn't get short enough or earlier. So we shall see. This is just a single day. It does not mean that I'm right. Uh, it just means that I'm right for the moment, as always. But uh, uh, as we go through the charts, we'll start developing a lot more of what I was showing yesterday, which is stocks up on almost no volume. Uh, we got a lot more uh, tests today in kind of the stocks that you don't hear much about on CN, uh, not CN, on CNBC or Bloomberg. It's not the ones they talk a lot, but they uh, they are talking themselves and are not giving a good uh, message to the markets out here. Uh, let's see what we have here. Yeah, we want to do this. We want to get everything out of the way and then move to charts. I think so. I say so. But. Uh, Let's do a little history, and then we'll move into some other stuff. Ooh, it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1951, the climax of the most sensational spy travel trial ever in American history is reached when a federal judge sentences Julius and Ethel Rosenberg to death for the roles of passing atomic secrets to the Soviets. Of course, uh, we found out uh, a little bit later uh, that was some confirmation but uh, even that confirmation by Klaus Fuchs wasn't anything uh, like uh, the documents we got when the Berlin Wall fell and uh, Russia and the Soviet Union did. Uh, many people got to go into the archives and look through the data. Uh, 
when you look at that and you think, uh, eh, they electrocute him. The only problem is they didn't electrocute him enough. Um, these people sentenced at least a lot of people in the Soviet Union to probably 20 more years of communist rule. And, uh, you know, they were helping out a, a, uh, a government that killed 25 million of his own folks and starved them to death. Remember, this is back in exactly the same problem where, where our place that we're talking about now, which is in the Ukraine. But uh, I do digress. On this day in 1951, uh, the biggest craters probably we've ever had, at least to the day now, maybe we'll find out somebody new, but uh, probably the biggest uh, traders and gave uh, uh, inherent evil an atomic weapon. Uh, okay, so we've got that. Let's go back to some of the other stuff. I had a question, and I wanted to call this uh, kind of deep in the weeds. And that question was, why did uh, AMD buy uh, Pisanto, Pinsando? Pins, I think that's how it's pronounced, Pinsando. Uh, yesterday, and it was only two million or two billion dollars, or one point eight billion dollars. But a lot of people, uh, this is kind of a new uh, part of the market. And since everybody talks about AMD and Nvidia right now, I think it's probably uh, key to start talking about a new part of the semiconductor business. Uh, these, uh, this company makes what's called a DPU, which is a data processing unit. And this is going to be a lot of stuff we're talking about in the years to come. These companies are going to make a lot of money. Uh, and data processing units are an adjunct to the CPU that AMD and, for the most part, in the uh, server business, 90% of what Intel sells. Uh, these chips can be $10,000 uh, or 20000 in some cases and have 64 uh, individual cores in them and you know, they're very expensive and server by the time they get done with it could be forty thousand dollars after the motherboard and hard drives and ssds and everything else but there's been a problem over the last few years caused by cloud infrastructure and that is hooking everything else to everything else and you can do it with very expensive cisco routers but it's not always efficient and it's certainly expensive so what DPUs uh, are, uh, data processing units, are a way for these servers to take some load off the processors, uh, especially if you're using them as a cloud system, let's say like Oracle Cloud, uh, that uh, you're using their system for their database. Uh, they'll encapsulate a, a, uh, a number of processors uh, in a what they'll call a container. And that container may have, you know, eight of the, 64 processors on uh, on uh, the system. Well, what you do is you pay uh, for licensing on these things per processor. So these containers may use eight of the 64 cores on a processor. And of course, uh, even if you're using those eight for something else, Oracle's still charging you. So uh, it's actually called offload. We'll talk a little bit more about this when we return. And then we're going to get into a ton of charts. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we return, uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about something that's going to be a theme, I think, in the coming years, especially if you're trading uh, in the uh, uh, tech silicon world, and that is uh, DPUs, which is data processing units. Uh, we have CPUs that everybody have known about forever, and of course, in the last 10 years, it's all been about GPUs as they've become uh, more expensive uh, able to solve uh, machine learning problems and uh, been used for a variety of things other than what they were intended to, especially uh, working with uh, uh, cryptographic uh, things like uh, Bitcoin uh, and Bitcoin mining. Uh, this gives the opportunity for big players like uh, Amazon and Microsoft and these other big cloud players uh, to use more of the cores of the main processor for what they need and to offload stuff with cheaper hardware. Uh, this stuff is not, we wouldn't call it cheap, but compared to what they're using in these big servers, it's, it's incredibly cheap, especially when you look at the cost of a, a, a standard Cisco router at $5,000. And you really can't uh, tailor it to your exact needs. Uh, most of these cards that we're going to talk about here just over the next couple of minutes have uh, processors and memory and an operating system like Linux on it already uh, so that they can kind of co-program these things. They're mostly really, 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 really fast uh, uh, Internet connections. And this way, they're kind of the highways of cloud computing. If you've got a server over here that's a, an Oracle database, and then you've got uh, another server uh, across the aisle or down the street that is uh, a web server, and maybe it's uh, handling the uh, you know 100,000 connections for something like Facebook or something like that, uh, and you've got two or three servers that are nothing but databases from Oracle. You want to be able to move that stuff back and forth. You don't want these processors sitting idle. And having these super, super, super fast internet connections, uh, ethernet connections, actually. Um, and generally, these things kind of started about 100 times faster 
uh, than what you have at home. And some are a thousand times and some are 10,000 times faster. Uh, so these things are getting very uh, fast. But again, uh, if you can't get the stuff in and out. So if you want to think of it very easily, this is just the interstate highway uh, cards that you can plug in a server uh, to offload a lot of the work the processor does and let it do the stuff that you pay the big bucks for, for the processor and memory and everything else, and let these other little cards do the rest of the kind of work. But they do, there's different ones and they have different kind of mixes of uh, a lot of what they do. Some of them are just set up to actually uh, encrypt and decrypt passwords, that kind of stuff. And you can do it much faster and much uh, more economically and cheaper than you can on the main processor. So you kind of you kind of look uh, get the heavy lifting done by the the very expensive maybe ten or twenty thousand dollar Intel processor and uh, focus more on that and that's really kind of evolved over the last five years a year and a half maybe even two years ago no one would have known what a DPU was uh, Intel kind of had the beginnings of it they called it a infrastructure processing unit they kind of really kind of started it. Uh, as we said, Pizanto, or Pinsando, Pin Pin I'll get it eventually, Pinsando, um, is kind of the first company to go uh, and cash out in this. But you've got uh, probably the ones you want to be looking at. Broadcom, probably not going to move the needle. But Fungible, if it becomes a, a public company or one you want to watch, it could be the next kind of AMD or... Uh, NVIDIA kind of thing. Uh, CalRay is another one. Marvel Technologies, if they get going, they've got a couple of them. Uh, NVIDIA already bought another company even uh, before this became a big deal, I think in 2019, called Mellanox. I'd used their cards from years ago. Uh, they probably have the flagship of this business right now called Bluefield. They also have some other stuff out here. But uh, in the coming uh, years and probably in the next six months, uh, DPU business is going to be uh, much, much bigger. And uh, it gives uh, some of these older servers a uh, some new life and letting the uh, processor do what it's supposed to do. And on very expensive new stuff allows uh, them to do a great deal more. Anyway, uh, DPUs, uh, you should know your DPUs. Know about a company num named Fungible. Uh, if it actually uh, ever becomes public. And uh, Marvel, NVIDIA, these other companies are going to continue to make a lot of money on this stuff. 877-927-6648. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and get to some charts. Uh, you can, of course, email me at path at tfnn.com, and we'll get to those. Uh, question about to, to, to Cal, C-A-L. We look at this, um, uh, you know, when you look at it longer, it's still in a downtrend. Uh, you've got two gaps at about 16 and 17 bucks. And I don't think I'd probably want to be in that one until it got there. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the inside skinny on this company here. Let's get to here. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Uh, retail and wholesale footwear in the United States. Operates through famous footwear brand portfolio segments. Company offers licensed, branded, and private label athletic, casual, and dress footwear products to women, men, and children. I guess they don't uh, dress up cows or sheep or donkeys or anything with footwear. It's just men and women and children. Who else wears shoes? Horses do, but they're not the kind, same kind of shoes. Oh, man. And they're evil at that. Uh, they uh, are part. Uh, they have the uh, Birkenstock part, which is, of course, uh, a known evil, as I say, tongue in cheek for those people. Uh, but anyway, uh, they've got a lot of names out here. It looks fairly good. Uh, big shoe, but uh, I don't know. People not putting enough shoe leather on their uh, systems anymore. They had a great sales uh, uh, top signal out here on June 25th. $29.17 with uh, 2.4 million shares. Got into it with just 1.1 million shares on November 19th going into Christmas. And it's been a sellathon since then. 
Okay. Maybe later this summer, analysts say Nike's committed to them. They just they sell a lot of shoes. I just don't see that many people buying shoes anymore. If you can't go out, you're not selling shoes. 877-927-6648. And see what we have here. Okay. Uh, I only got 31 seconds, so we're not going to get through it. Uh, we will uh, talk about... Uh, the indexes, but uh, I am not optimistic. Bounced a little bit here. I think we go down and test uh, Friday's low sooner rather than later. In fact, fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And the first email, the second email, well, I guess one from Dan and one from here, uh, is uh, Mimi who wants to know a, a, a bevy. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Um, if you look at the chart, I'm going to say about 137-ish is where this thing is probably going to come back to, and that's where I would want to be a buyer on it. You may not get that, but uh, the risk-reward until you get back there, probably not going to be all that great. As we show, this thing um, 
has kind of uh, an ability to go back to 150 without any problems. Maybe you get a signal there, but uh, you'd have to wait till you get that. But uh, ideally, you'd want 137 uh, from 165. So you got the possibility of a lot of downside on this. There may still be, it may just continue going up, but uh, you have no idea until it comes back down. But that's where I'd want to buy it. Okay, uh, I wanted to talk about a lot of these stocks, uh, as I said, have just been kind of going straight up and didn't really consolidate a lot over the last week or two. And even in the pullback, uh, pushed higher and were above the three by three. Uh, we were talking about the start of a lot of these stocks as uh, closing below the three by three, uh, maybe a little bit of a bounce, and then uh, where they really fall off uh, the uh, right shoulder of these. Uh, okay, yeah. off uh, 40 points on the S&P, down 270 on the NASDAQ. Uh, anyway, um, a biomed is one of these. You've got a lot of biotechs out here that look kind of like this. And again, not a lot of juice as they push higher. I uh, tried to go a little higher this morning in Airbnb, and that kind of gave it up uh, and rotated. And it's uh, going to be probably... Uh, if we get the close I'm looking for, which is down about maybe uh, 50 or 60 points today on the S&P, probably going to be a fairly bearish engulfing of these last four or five days for Airbnb. Um, but uh, I do digress. Uh, these are uh, mostly stocks that I'm thinking are going to take maybe another few days to set up before they become shorts. So I'm looking at them, and especially a lot of these things that have been in ballistic moves higher. Uh, ADP is one of those. Uh, if this uh, does a double repo, you'd want to see this thing really come back to about 210, 207. Now, th that's going to take maybe another three or four days. I think there's going to be some weakness in the general markets, and even these stocks that are going higher could come back down a little bit, up a little bit and maybe these will be the next round of stocks either late uh, April or, or uh, early May that'll be the next ones that uh, head lower because I am looking for lower through most uh, all the way through uh, probably the fall or early uh, eh, maybe early September uh, there'll be spits and sparts uh, Ameren uh, this thing's been doing nothing but a, uh, the la uh, going higher uh, hard to see this thing blowing up, but uh, and there are probably better shorts out here. But uh, another one that does have that uh, pattern setting up. Uh, what's it else we have out here? Arthur Gallagher and a lot of clothing companies. Uh, not many shoes, but a lot of clothing companies have been doing uh, well. I think a lot of people are front running, uh, people getting back into the office and buying uh, clothing. Uh, this one's kind of uh, still on the high, but again, volume is poor. It's been poor for the last few days in these, and they did need a little bit of time to set up uh, for a predictable move back lower. So uh, Arthur Gallagher is one. Akamai, uh, this thing has just been going up on fumes for about 15 days. i uh, got to keep an eye on that. I think this one uh, is... Eh, I mean, it's not as bad as one would think, but just the last four days have been rather poor. Uh, two, 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 okay. Uh, um, now, today, even with some upgrades, very interesting to see that these lithium companies like ALB uh, have hit their down uh, stroke and basically got to their double gaps on this one and now starting to make some bearish signs. This was... Probably going to take a little bit more, probably in a bigger trading range from about 170 bucks to 230. Uh, but I think it may take a little bit more. I wouldn't know why they're not doing well, but they the charts do not look good. Uh, Amgen, a lot of these biotechs are set up for probably a fairly significant pullback. Uh, Amgen hasn't given a signal yet, other than a big spike here today that's kind of rolled back over. Uh, support comes back in at about 235 on that one. Uh, AMJ, which is uh, Alarian MLP, uh, not looking good. Most of these uh, uh, emerging market uh, ETFs are starting to show a lot of signs of wear. 
Uh, let's go on to some bigger ones. Uh, Aon, A-O-N is the symbol on this one. It's holding at its highs, but again, tried to push it a little higher today. Volume's about half of what it was yesterday. Let's keep in mind. Uh, to what else do we have? Air products. This is a good uh, uh, forecaster, kind of like uh, the uh, paper products business uh, for seeing out what uh, the industrial part of the market's doing. Uh, that it's just uh, got up here, gone sideways for about four days or five days, and now it's got a doji out here. You want to be watching out for that. And uh, you got a higher volume low at 216.41 that's never been tested on it. Uh, APPS, which is digital turbine. Um, and this thing's just going sideways. Um, Antero Resources, a lot of these resource companies have uh, had kind of a ABC up and are probably completing the top of these now. Uh, AR is on that one. Again, you had a push today that's kind of fallen over. Never had much volume in the morning, and we rolled. Uh, areas management, eh, not so much on that. Uh, even some of these uh, energy companies like Ashland uh, starting to act a little bit. Now, this is what I'm talking about for the double repo pattern. You get all these days starting back on the 10th of March higher above the three by three. Now you've got a couple of days underneath it. Now you get a couple of days back above that three by three in the next few days, which are all about 99. We'll say this goes back up to 101 and then closes back below that. Uh, a pretty good indication that you're probably uh, ready for uh, some fairly large distribution in it. Um, Avago Technologies, all it's been able to do is really a 50% uh, retracement off the highs. Uh, Broadcom and Avago, both of these companies continue to buy a lot of other companies, and I think there's probably a lot of problems with the books in these companies that will eventually come to roost. And you question just uh, almost always when uh, the market goes south, uh, everybody starts finding out. Another uh, a good example of a stock going straight higher each day for too many days uh, and now closing underneath this is Axis Capital AXS. Now, what you want this thing to probably do in the next couple of days is go sideways up a little bit, maybe to 60. And then the next move below uh, that three by three out here, maybe a close below 59 or so. That's generally when you, uh, if that develops, you go right back where it starts. It suggests right back. Uh, we'll be back and uh, go through as many as we can of today. Eight, seven, seven, nine, seven, six, four, eight. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Jane emails me at tatcfn.com saying I've gone 50 or 60. Yeah, uh, tomorrow is Delta Neutral Day for options. Actually, it's kind of starting a little bit today because uh, we're one day short. Uh, and so it really probably started around noon. Uh, they'll clean it up uh, tomorrow uh, and finish it up. But by noon, we probably should have uh, a little bit better idea about what's going to go on in the market but uh normally uh, i would have waited till wednesday to get real bearish after that but uh everything looked pretty horrible yesterday uh and it looks even worse today uh at least for the next few weeks pretty much into the first week of may looks weak at least to me eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight uh anyway we went through this one like i said uh you know it'd be nice as if uh the market probably goes down. These probably pop up a little bit and uh, then head south again. Those will be the ones that will be the kind of the second wave after the first wave at the top. Axum Therapeutics, AXSM. Uh, this one's uh, been a rocket ship to the top. It's filling about half of this existing gap out. This is uh, where you'd want to pull the ripcord on that one. AYX, Alterix. Uh, same kind of thing, but uh, these things may need a few more days before uh, they set up or may just fail right now. But uh, a lot of these need to go back and retest previous lows on uh, higher volume. 52.84 is open on this one, and uh, yesterday it was 76.35. Uh, so a lot more out there. AstraZeneca uh, in the biotechs, another one that's been going straight higher. He kind of had a... Uh, kind of a signal today if you get a little bit of a tombstone doji up here today that may tell you that it's probably done going up we'll need to uh, pull back a little bit try for another high if it misses that high it's probably headed back down to 62 bucks or excuse me 100 yeah 62 bucks uh aspen technologies another one when you look at these things uh i can i've got about 250 of these stock uh, charts, and they all look exactly the same. That is that they've gone up uh, dramatically above the three by three without any kind of back and forth. Uh, those are ballistic moves. They tend to come back in, uh, have a little pullback, push a little higher, fail, and then go back to where they started. Uh, this one could go all the way back to 140, and I wouldn't be surprised uh, if uh, the market in general pulls back which I think is at least a 60, 65% uh, probability at this point. Booz Hamilton, if you're play, uh, playing Planeteer uh, a lot, I think you'd want to be looking at this one because it's the only stock that's really kind of like it at all that I know of that's public. Uh, just kind of going sideways. And, of course, from the people that brought you uh, Snowden. But uh, man, what can you say? Uh, BHP, uh, Hilton, and 
I don't know what else you can say out here. Certainly very light volume. It hadn't closed below it. Uh, a lot of these energy companies look like they could go sideways for a little while after the recent pop. Was, uh, I hadn't looked at uh, crude in the last hour or so. Did pop a little earlier in the day. Gold also was a little stronger. It's down 9 bucks at the moment. But we continue to digress. Uh, we'll keep an eye on this. Uh, oh, somebody asked me what's going on here. Um, expect... Uh, to be, I think what we're probably should see is a uh, push pretty hard uh, into tomorrow morning, maybe by 11 or 12 or so. And then they'll probably try to push it up a bit. Maybe we go down and test that uh, 54, 15 ish area on the S&P. And then they try to push it up and then that fails. But I think that's probably tomorrow. So I'm pretty sure that we're going to see them push uh, down, try to sell as many puts as they can, then pop the market. Uh, and at that point, you're going to find out whether I'm right or wrong. If the market can't hold up tomorrow, pretty good indication that we're probably going to sell off all the way into the 14th and uh, options expiration weekend and probably the first week of May, I suspect, also. Uh, Black Hills BHK or BKH, he said. Fairly light volume today. Uh, booking.com, booking.yeah, is back under the 3x3 three three after really being back above it since the 10th of March. Um, not a lot of volume out here. I think everybody, it's going to take a little bit more for everybody to figure out that the instant uh, travel uh, boom is probably going to be problematic with high energy costs. Uh, Bristol Myers Squib, uh, nice day today, but it's about half the volume. Again, these probably will hold up better than the general market, but I think a lot of them are just ready to, to have some blow-off tops. Speaking of blow-off tops, uh, boil today. Looks like we may have found a high in it. Uh, it did gap right through an existing gap that goes back uh, to the 9th, uh, what is that, uh, November 9th of 2021 when it gapped down. Uh, you needed about... 3.8 million shares. You got about 2.7 today, but uh, my guess is this is where a lot of these energy uh, plays are going to consolidate out for a while. Um, don't see them to be incredibly weak, uh, but that's it. Uh, question on GDXJ. I just think it's getting ready to show uh, GDXJ uh, why uh, gold rolled over today. Um, you got what uh, is the start of a fairly decent uh, engulfing <clears throat> of this pattern that goes back to the 17th. Uh, what you don't have is a lot of volume. Uh, again, gold probably going to hold up better uh, than the general market uh, on the way down. Uh, but generally, the first two weeks of a down move in a market um, also bring gold back with it. And then after about two weeks, everybody starts really getting worried and they really start piling in it. So I'm thinking that uh, maybe uh, the last week of uh, April here or maybe the first week of May is the next big move uh, in gold. Uh, to, 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 I'm a routing for you. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Okay, we're going to continue on here. Brazil Foods, uh, a lot of these uh, food companies rallied on uh, higher prices. Uh, BRFS did come back, fill this huge gap down. Didn't do it on higher volume. You had uh, that gap down on the 2nd of February with 13.6 million shares. You got into it uh, two days ago with about 8.8 .8 million shares kind of rolling over. Again, I wouldn't be shorting a $4 stock, but uh, a lot of these uh energies, of food, a lot of things that have been on big runs have kind of gone sideways. CAG, uh, another one, ConAgra Foods, uh, kind of a nice uh, big uh, tombstone doji, possibly forming a little bit lower close that on ConAgra. We come back, we'll look at Calm, another one in that sector, um, Calmain Foods, as we return. A lot of these things, uh, given the first sign of 
some major returns to where they started. We'll be back in a minute. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. The other day, I'll just uh, go ahead and start looking at some of the bigger stocks out here. One of the things that I would be worried about is that you've got uh, the beginnings of a uh, sell signal uh, with a double repo pattern uh, with Apple. Uh, you were up uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, let's call it 13 days. Closed under it uh, two days ago. Pop back up above it yesterday, and then you're back down that three by three. And that's kind of it. You get up there, you get a push, you don't have a lot of volume or it's a reversed volume. Then you kind of come down. And generally, I'm not a big fan of shorting Apple, but this is the best uh, signal I've seen in a long time uh, to be on the south side of that. Uh, when we look at some of the other big stocks, uh, Microsoft, kind of the same thing, but just a little less clear. Um, you might have a little bit more. I think it's a better company than uh, um, Apple. Apple has the ability to buy shares back itself, uh, but uh, just not a big fan out here. At best, you've been going sideways uh, at a high, which kind of smacks of uh, distribution. Um, let's take a quick look at Amazon out here today. Um, same kind of thing in Amazon. 
Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 days above, you get uh, two days below. You just get a smidgen above yesterday, and you're back below it today. Now, if this, the, the, uh, the confirming pattern on these is a gap down tomorrow. Generally, when you get that first day back underneath it, sometimes they just give it up all at once. A lot of times they'll just do this. They'll close below. But you get a gap down of like 25, 50 bucks in Amazon. Uh, pretty good and big sell signal in the double pattern. Sell when you can, not when you have to. I'm prepared. See you tomorrow. Same bat panel, same bat time.